Welcome back, guys, to another Moen Monday, but it's not Monday, it's Tuesday, that's right. If you guys uh, watched uh, yesterday's episode, I kind of talked about that. I, I, that's my bad, guys. I kind of messed up on our planning here for episodes, uh, and I forgot that Moen Monday was coming up, and I accidentally recorded a video, the Supercross video, on on Monday, and then, I'm, and then I posted this Mowing Monday video on Tuesday, so... Happy, uh, or welcome back to Mowing Monday. Super excited to be here. And we have a bunch of different, a bunch of different mowers, actually. Well, this was in our last episode. We had the GS John Deere 45, and then a nice little walk by and commercial mower with the bagger and then the chute. And now we also have the Rhino. Now, I think I used this in one of my farm. I can't remember, but I think it's had some screen time here on the channel. It is the Rhino 51. Uh, Epic Reno 4155. This thing is 4.1 meters, 4.5 meters of, of cutting, which is insane. Like, that is crazy. So, this gets a lot of work done in a hurry. You can say that. Again, this is really nice. It's. I, it, it's classification. I really don't know. I should, probably should have looked it up. I mean, it's a bush hog. I mean, is it. Is it a bush hog or is it a finish mower? Oh, I'm gonna let you guys I mean it's got like usually the finish mowers have a little like better blades but like the mod let me know is this a finish mower or a bush hog because usually bush hogs are not uh you know they don't have like the bat wings they don't have like the malt they are usually this wide that's what I'm trying to say uh, they might be I don't know extensive amount of information on bush hogs but is it a finish mower or is it a bush hog that's the question that I'm asking and hopefully I know some of you guys will for sure let me know so let's see here I'm trying to uh, load these up not the best way but still it looks pretty cool it actually looks really cool I wish I could have thrown on five but I don't think we're gonna fit be able to fit one in between there so let's go take this over to the dealership that's right we're gonna have one one for for the business and then the rest are going to go to the dealership again we like to test out and run all of our equipment that we sell and it kind of proves to our customers that we use it or like yeah that we use it so we don't really sell anything to the people like we mow for because they hire us to mow for them they don't need any mowers or anything so that's not really our market but people drive by us and they see us you know kind of using certain types of mowers and stuff but right now the dealership is closed it's we close on um we close like later in the day so it's we're able to kind of get in here and hopefully unload this maybe why won't it like oh no i think it's doing the weird thing so sometimes oh wait i can carry this one sometimes the game oh no oh no what i was trying to say is farm store just sometimes acts up a bunch oh look at this so wait maybe this is the truck but doesn't it seem like there's a, a few extra lines here from driving maybe it's taking in an account for like the rhino mowers here like maybe it's like sensing their tires too because it's like what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yeah th that doesn't make any sense uh so it must be like thinking that these are hitting the ground too like the game it's actually kind of cool i just noticed that now that's actually really cool uh okay so what i'm saying is like the game is like really weird sometimes and i actually like can't pick up things Sometimes it's just weird. Probably doesn't help that I have like a million implements and mowers on this server. That's what always kind of scares me from dealership or just big server ideas that I like to do. More mowers I buy, the more things I do, the more grass I cut. Just the more that happens on the server, the slower it's going to be. The more kind of problems I'm going to run into when I'm playing, unfortunately. But oh well, it's worth it. It's worth it. Looks really good. We uh we're gonna be opening up the car wash back there actually to the public. We think it's big enough where we should be able to get we great we give it to our customers, but I think we might open it up to the public too. Okay. I need to unload these mowers here. Really weird that they aren't unloading. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in the six point six liter Duramax. The Mattoon Chevy here, and we're gonna go head over and unload these mowers. We actually don't I've used these on our shop and i we haven't even taken them over to the dealership so that's pretty bad of me not gonna lie yeah that doesn't make any sense these tires here tire marks 
Looks pretty cool though. Okay, where I kind of want to display these like up front. I don't think we're gonna have a room. I think I'm gonna go on the left side here. Why don't we do that? Yeah, we'll go right over here. I kind of want to put them up front. They're pretty important mowers to me, and I think they're gonna sell like hotcakes. These are gonna be probably our number one sellers. Great residential lawnmower. You can use it for commercial needs as well. I just think I just think they're gonna sell a lot. Like if anybody has anything over an acre, I would say to, to half an acre would would kind of walk over and be like, that's my mower. Uh, some people like riders. Some people like walk behind, stand behinds. I personally, I personally would, if I'm going to get a rider, I'm going to go with a zero turn unless I'm going to do like garden work with like a John Deere rider. I guess, let me know what you guys think. I mean, they all have their pros and cons, but I feel like if you're just going to mow, there's no reason why you want to get a zero turn. But if you're going to do like, maybe you can want to put a plow or a snowblower or do some extra like aeration or put like a loader on like a small like John Deere garden tractor. I feel like then you'll need it, but for mowing, obviously a zero turns better than just your normal rider garden tractor. In my opinion. Okay, we'll load up the last two there and then I'm gonna back over here. Hopefully the tailgate will fold up. Oops. And we got our last three here that we're gonna go take over to the dealership. They look, oh, come on, Spencer, we just hit that, we kind of hit that bump, you guys saw that go up there, that's my B, that's my B. And then, one thing I noticed too is, obviously these are mods, but, like, the John Deere green is, is always kind of changing. I feel like there's no specific green, or like, well-known green that these John Deere mowers are, like, I don't know what you call this green, but it seems like they all, oh, you can see the blades underneath. There you go, very cool. Uh... But if you look at these deers, then you go over to 2032 are a lot. I mean, not a lot different, but then the in-game John Deere greens are way, way lighter of a green. Like these are, I would say this is dark green. I don't know. I do not know. I'm sure like John Deere themselves, like their, their color, like there's a name for the green. Maybe it's just called, maybe they have their own green. It's just called John Deere green. And like, it's its own color. I don't know. Okay. So let me take this this is our little skid steer trailer that we use for and i'm gonna go put it in the shop and then i'll pick up that gooseneck that we have over there bring over the last two rhinos i'm thinking and then we gotta work one too one's gonna stay for the shop like i said so we're gonna drop one off here and then we'll take the last one over to the dealership i really don't know i mean we can hook up the 2032rs to the rhinos that are stuck on our low loader like we can easily do that but it's always kind of a pain in the butt but we can, we'll see. There we go. I think I have one of them. One of them are like up on top of like the back wheels. Like it's not on the flat like loading part, which might be impossible to get up there. We'll kind of see. There we are. So let's go ahead and hook up here. Unfold the ramps. I got the mega ramps on this one. You can always customize the ramps, which is really, really nice. There we go. These rhinos are going to be able to match the Chevy. That'll be perfect. Whenever I do the rhinos, I'll always bring the Chevy with me. Haul them with the Chevy, at least. Here we are. And then I've actually never even heard of the rhino brand. Again, I don't... I'm not very inclined on, you know, these large mowers like this. I haven't heard of the rhino brand before. I'm sure I've, like, seen one and I just didn't see that it was a rhino but i do i really do like the name rhino i think it's kind of it's kind of cool name it's it's fairly unique and i guess like rhinos are tough and maybe these are supposed to be tough too but yeah pretty nice mowers this mod is really really well done in my opinion i don't know if it's public okay there's the logo rhino and it's got a little rhino running up there perfect a lot of danger a lot of i was just about to say look at all these stickers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven warning stickers. That is. That's that's kind of nerve wracking when you see that. No, it's it's a mower, but like I don't know. It's kind of. I just saw that. All right, so we'll go drive over here. So what? We're gonna have one five. We'll have five rhino mowers on, on supply here. 
I feel like that is plenty. I don't think we're going to sell out today, but if we do, that would be, I guess that would be pretty nice. There we go. Yeah, so those, I can pick pick up the front one for sure with the 2032R, but the back one I'm going to be a little, little nervous on. There we go. And if you guys are enjoying today's episode, let me know by hit the like button today's like kind of a mod showcase i would say you know kind of walking through the dealership trying to improve it and then i think we're going to be able to get to uh get to a job site here today i'm going to probably end up using the rhino we'll see I'll, I'll try and try and use the rhino okay uh let's grab this one on the end or let's grab the one without the mower so we don't have to detach plus it's got the front loader and the weight so we'll be able to weigh it down good there we go should be able to handle it i don't think oh no don't tell me we're stuck i don't think the 2032r wait are we actually stuck i shouldn't have had the mower deck on here but i don't think the 2032r is like a good tractor for this it's probably like in the all you need is 95 horsepower i guess i wonder how much horsepower these guys have i'm sure they have 95 they aren't sub i mean they're c compact tractors but i they aren't that small. Uh, all right, let's go drive it around here. We'll go. Okay, the audio, the audio of the tires. Maybe it was the wait. The tires leave like a weird, not a weird, but like the they have like good big tractor tread. It looks like. I was gonna say like the audio of the tires like, the Rhino is like super loud. Oh, and they're already dirty too. What the heck? This thing's acting up. Yeah, these mowers are kind of to glitch out a little what is good they're going into the ground what is going on no okay those tires are just caked in mud that's kind of funny all right let's see here can i pick you up buddy no maybe yes no all right we gotta get this guy out of here we kind of got a mess on our hands i'm gonna see if i can clean it up here to the best of my ability here we are let's go ahead back up here but the shop is absolutely killing it i think i'm gonna always leave the lights on let me know what you guys think of that but i think it it really showcases like what's inside and when you actually are in there it just makes the place especially like the rock look a heck of a lot better in my opinion but i guess that's up to you guys let me know what you think and boom my backing up skills have been getting much better much much better i i guess i'm only it doesn't seem like i back up that much that t like too often yeah i really like the lights they're really fun okay i think we have a bird in here too if anybody just heard that it kind of sounded like it was in the corner over here but uh no i we have a bird in here Okay, there's got to be a bird in here. Or it's... No, it is inside of here. That is such a clear sound. There's no way that it's not inside. So, what we want to do is... I don't think the 2032R is the right tractor to be using. I think we need something something a bit bigger, like the 6R or the 6M. Probably the, I'll probably run the 6M. Stick with that. So, we're going to go buy a 6M. Let me put the trucks away. We're actually just going to be driving down the road here for this... Uh, for this operation our receptionist just told us so let's go ahead let's um yeah i'm pretty much just gonna drive right down the road i don't think the trucks need any work so we'll just park them here and there we are we're in the 6m i was thinking about getting the nokia the it's it's a weird name nokian nokian tires they're like the more uh, just more street tire looking less tread for mowing but i was like you know what screw it let's just take i mean yeah i was just gonna take the bigger tread but let me know what you guys think of that too i was trying to make that decision but i think it'll be it'll be just fine it's it's been a while since i've been that since i've been in the 6m for sure so what we're actually going to be doing here today is we're going to be going on the side of the road here let's go ahead unfold this here we're going to be going on the side of the road super important it's not really a ditch it's more like i said just the side of the road Oh no, <laughs> it's shaking. I wonder, okay, they were shaking for a second. 
you guys for sure saw that. I saw it. They were, uh, it, it was like flopping around from, I, it seems to be working just fine now. But I think when I first turned them on, and I kind of want to try it again here shortly. Uh, they were like flopping up and down. Maybe it was because, you know, the blades were just starting to spin, but it was kind of funny. There we go. Okay, it's not going to be absolutely perfect. We need a weed eater so bad. But, I mean, you want it really... This is the side of the road. It's not like it's my backyard. Yeah, look at that. So, because my right tire... Like, this is pretty realistic. Because my right tire has been on, you know, the concrete more. It's not as dirty. Those tires are absolutely super dirty right now. So, it keeps saying I don't have access to the land. And I... Th that's probably because, like, when I drive up on the road, I don't have access to the road. That's, like, 100% correct. So you, you see right here. Yep, there it is. So there we go. This is kind of strenuous, strenuous mowing, in my opinion. Uh, good thing there is no, like, really no traffic right now. It's kind of hard. I'm actually pretty surprised how good I'm doing. First time I ever hit a tree was right there. But I'm not going super fast, but I'm just trying to get in there as much as I possibly can. And I feel like we're doing a pretty good job. This is, again, pretty tough. I'm not going to throw it in reverse and get it, you know, absolutely perfect. We just got to keep... I'm doing it way better than I actually thought I was going to do. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. There we go. Maybe. No. There we go. On the last one, I kind of messed up. No worries, though. All right, there we go. We're going to take this straight away here. Go ahead, put her in cruise. We'll take out this side. And then I think, I'll, first off, I need to I need to paint over those crops right there before they come in too much. I actually don't even, I can't really tell what they are. It's too too early to tell exactly what what is planted there. There we go. Yeah, so the rhino, the, the rhino, the rhino is super nice. I like it a lot. It's a really, really clean mower. Oh, now the tires are cleaning off when we go on the... When we go on the road... Okay, I need to turn off the blades. But that's so cool. Oh, wait. Okay, I was going to say, are they going to, like, straighten out? But that's pretty cool how they were spinning there. All right, so now we're going to go on the inside there. And I'm pretty much just going to go up and down here. Again, I can't... I mean, I, I can probably back up a little bit there. There we go. Big plays, big plays. Yeah, the deer is able to handle the rhino. I think this is just about the perfect tractor for it. Maybe we could downsize just a bit, but there is really no John Deere mod that would um, suit our needs for it. I just think the 2032R is just a hair too small. Let me know if you guys think it will be able to handle it. I don't. I think you guys will agree with me, but I really don't know. A lot of you guys know more about like the correct sizes and everything and like what's actually realistic and what you should use and da 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 like in farm somewhere i can use the big bud for a rake you know like we can use pretty crazy things and like you could soup up like a little fent and use the big bud cultivator like you can do that kind of stuff so and i try to stay realistic especially in like these specific series always kind of not re not always i won't say always i won't say always so there we are, guys. We're just going to run up and down here, but that's going to wrap up today's episode. It already looks a lot better here on the side of the road. I wish we had a weed eater to knock that out. I'm, I'm probably going to just go with my uh, our smallest tra smallest mower. Actually, maybe our walk behind would be the smallest. I'm not really sure to clean up, clean up the extra stuff. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. It has been a fun one. If I can drive, maybe get out of here, boy. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to take another lap up here, then clean up the little misses and stuff. And, yeah, have a great day, guys. Thank you all for watching Moen Monday on a Tuesday. Sorry, again, that I messed that up. Some people have commented, like, yeah. So thank you guys all for watching. Peace out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.